Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a, I guess you could say a mini episode. How to repair a lawnmower tire the easy way. Okay, sorry for the shadow, but it's kind of midday out. <laughs> so you're going to get this. It covers half my face, so it might be an advantage to you guys. Um, but just so you know, if you get a flat tire, the method I'm going to show you, again, is a quick fix. Um, it's good enough for a lawnmower. At least it has been in the past for me. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, you do not have to take the tire off most of the time unless the holes like on the inside um, of the mower tire, which is kind of rare. But if it is, okay, then you probably have to take it off because you're not going to have room to do what I'm going to show you to do. However, because of the midday sun, I just went ahead and took the tire off so you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. Now, of course, if you do decide to take the tire off for some reason, be smart about it and put braces underneath the uh, the axle. So just in case you are, um, whatever it is you use to, <laughs> to jack the thing up, that it doesn't slip out. And also make sure that you have some blocks underneath the wheels. And of course you put the brake on, your parking brake. So again, be smart about it, be safe about it. If you're not smart about it, you could end up uh, crushing your hands or your feet and spend the night in the hospital. So you don't want to do that. Now, of course, the first thing you want to do when trying to repair a tire is try to put as much air in this thing as you can. Because what you need to do is find out where the hole is. And that's where that thing comes in. Okay, I got I got it up to 20 psi, which is where it's supposed to be. Put that on so we don't lose it. Now here's where there's a lot of different methods on how to find that hole. Some people um, they can just kind of put their hand over it, especially if it's if it's able to get a lot of psi in it, you'll be able to feel it. But because of a medical condition that I have, I don't have a whole lot of feeling in my hand. Um, so another alternative is to get a spray bottle of soapy water and to spray it on all over the place and see where it bubbles. Or you can do what I do and I just kind of hold it up to my cheek and keep uh, rotating it because I can feel, uh, still feel a lot in my cheek. And when the air starts coming out, I start to narrow down where it is and then I mark it. Now I've already done that right there. Now what I used, I used a silver sharpie pen. You could use um, like liquid paper, you know the correction paper, the liquid stuff. You can use that. I've seen people use chalk if they have some chalk uh, sitting around to temporarily mark it. But in either way, you are going to have to mark it because <laughs> once you turn your eyes away from it, you're going to lose that little hole. <laughs> so uh, just make sure you mark it. Narin tire repair kits. Um, and by the way, I do suggest that you get one that has a container so you can seal it uh, because the items that you have to use, the actual plugs, they do dry out if you don't have them sealed. And then, well, if they dry out, you just have to use um, like rubber cement or something on them to loose, you know, to make them juice the back up, as they say, so they can seal. But you have this device here, which you push into the hole, and it's very rough on the side because what you're doing, you're increasing the size of the hole, which kind of doesn't make sense, but you kind of need to. Um, and also, it's roughing around the side so that these can stick, the actual plugs themselves. And usually the plugs come in five, um, but I used a couple in the past, so I have only have three. Um, and then 
you take the plug, and I'll show you how to do that. But you take the plug, you put it right in here, uh, equidistant on either side, and then you punch that into the hole, but make sure you don't go the whole way through because you need a little bit of the plug sticking out. And then what you do, once you have it in there, you pop it right out. And then supposedly <laughs> the, the, uh, the plug will stay in there. Now it will have a little tail on it. You can cut the tail off. I've seen uh, some old timers actually take uh, a lighter and actually melt it down. That kind of freaks me out, so I don't do that. And I found that just having um, the tail of the plug sticking out, or tails of the plug sticking out, and I'll show you that when we're done, that the tails, it, it doesn't matter because it eventually wears off and also it doesn't really do anything to the tire. It doesn't catch on anything. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna to try to hold on to this with, <laughs> with one hand and try to do this with the other. So there's the hole. You do have to have a lot of force. Okay, there we go. Got it in. And you just pull it right out. There we go. So now you see you have a bit of a bigger hole that the plug will fit into. Okay. Then you just take one of the plugs, pull that out. That's all they look like, and they should be very sticky um, all around it. Now, if they're not, again, just use some uh, cement glue, and you should be fine. Okay, so what you do is you put this about equidistant on either side like that. And then you just jam that right on in. And again, being careful not to push it all the way in, you wanna have a, you know, the tails right here that I was talking about. And all you do is you yank straight out. There you go wasn't much of a yank, but thank goodness it stayed in. So there you go. You have your tails right there. And again, because you are kind of sticky, you can kind of push them out to the side if you want. Um, you can just leave them like that, no big deal. Like I said, old timers kind of lit them to burn them down and I guess make an extra seal, but that just freaks me out. I don't do that. Now let's see if we can put some air in it and it holds. Okay, it's right around 20 PSI. I'm good. I don't hear any uh, any leaks. I don't feel any leaks on my cheek. I don't hear or feel any other leaks. I think we did it. Thank you for coming along with me for the easy repair kit <laughs> demonstration for a lawnmower tire. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.